all of the military personnel, veterans, and their families joining us here today at the 2019 Veterans Day Brick Dedication Ceremony. Uh, if you are able, please stand for the posting of the colors by the VFW Post 4719 and American Legion Post 797 and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem sung by Gahanna Lincoln High School student David Rice and the invocation led by Pastor T.J. Wolf. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early lights? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. We will now have Pastor T.J. Wolf do the invocation. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we come to you on this special occasion to remember those who have given their youth, their strength, and in some cases their lives. But first, we honor you, our Supreme Commander-in-Chief. We acknowledge your providence, protection, grace, and love. In this service, help us to properly honor those to whom honor is due. Thank you for the men and women of our armed forces who've seen combat or worked in support, highly trained and ready to respond to any threat that would jeopardize our liberty. We thank you for their loyalty to our nation and their ongoing contributions to our lives. We thank you that they found you to be a very present help in time of trouble. We pray for the veterans who have been crippled in war with lifelong reminders of that, that illness. And we pray for those injured by unseen wounds of the minds. Lord, we pray for veterans in homeless shelters or out on the street suffering this very day. Give them comfort and protect them, Lord. Finally, we pray for families, Lord, the gold star wives, mothers, and fathers. We ask you to secure marriages that have paid a high price with many deployments. We pray for the children who will miss their mom or dad this holiday season. Fill them with your understanding presence and give them peace during these trying times. Now, as we open this service, open up our hearts in appreciation. We ask this in the name of your son who gave his life as a ransom for all and declared that greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Just as a quick PSA, uh, for all you veterans and veterans' families, I actually have a, a case of uh, small three by five flip cards that are uh, veterans benefits uh, really nice uh, uh, 
Rolodex of different numbers for people that if you need a number to contact VA or others, uh, it's got a lot of great information in it. And you're welcome to all, they're all back here on the back bench. So uh, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that. So before you leave, if you're interested in that, feel free to take several or whatever you need. At this time, um, I'd like to start off with uh, just a little bit about where, where we are. Uh, when we remember and when we honor those who served in our military, when we remember those who gave up their lives for our country, those who put their hopes and dreams on hold, left their families and friends, those who gave all they had to give, those who gave all that they had to give, their sacrifice should inspire in us a, pro a profound sense of gratitude, gratitude for the freedoms we enjoy, bought with a great price. We hope you share the stories with your children and grandchildren so they understand what others before them have sacrificed so that they can live in a country where they are free to go, where they want, do what they want, and say what they want. I, at this time, I would like to ask all veterans to please either stand or raise your hands and be recognized. Thank you for your service. I know um, this morning I was at a ceremony at Blacklick Elementary, and I know the other elementaries had services very similar where they had uh, recognition of the uh, families that had veterans and, and had veterans in, uh, there present. And it was really a moving experience. I've been able to do this. This is the second year I've got a granddaughter at Blacklick, and I know that there's some faces here that I saw at that particular event, but I know the other ones did too. So it was very nice to see the schools actually uh, participate in a Veterans Day ceremony to recognize those that uh, have committed so much and uh, have, have either paid the ultimate price or have uh, you know, retired or have served their duty. But uh, just uh, thank you very much. Um, as a grateful nation pays tribute to our brothers and sisters in arms, we thank you for your service and unselfish commitment to keeping our nation free. Each Veterans Day, our community honors the lives and actions of our military personnel who so bravely protect our great nation, both in wartime or peacetime. America owes a great debt to its veterans, whose service to the nation spans every decade, every year, and every day of our country's existence. Veterans Day is largely intended to thank all veterans for their service, to acknowledge that their contributions to our national security are appreciated and to underscore the fact that all those who served have sacrificed and done their duty. Today we especially honor the 22 individuals whose bricks are being dedicated. Their names will be placed in this hallowed ground as a lasting memorial to their unselfish service to our country. These 22 bricks are inscribed with the following veterans' names. Robert W. Chafin, Kevin D. Drosis, Matthew Duvall, James R. Foster, Greg H. Goddardam, Dick Grutendorst, Denny G. Hanrahan, George Hanrahan, Leroy M. Hooker, Guy J. Jetter, Stephen R. Johnson, Ephraim Kidd, Philip Myers, Gary L. Peters, Skip Peters, William S. Purgett, John T. Schick, Don L. Schneider, James E. Smith, T. A. Tor, and Bobby Williams. There's a closeness we can all feel at this sacred place. Whether or not you're related to someone whose name is found here, we all share in the kinship of being an American citizen. We are surrounded by the spirits of those who have served our country, those who have sacrificed so much for the freedom we enjoy today and every day. The price of freedom is high. We cannot afford to forget those willing to pay for it. At this time, the memorial wreath will be placed by Jeffrey Barr, a U.S. Navy veteran, Jeff's 
father, Bob Barr, and Jeff's son, Zev Barr. The wreath placement will be followed by a moment of silence. In our moment of silence, we lift our thoughts, gratitude, and prayers to our veterans, lift our, your spirits to their families, and speak with your silence. Thank you. Well, as every program has a glitch, we do very good. I was worried. <laughs> it's now my extreme pleasure, believe it, yes, to introduce our guest speaker, Gehanna native and U.S. Army veteran Kevin Lang. Kevin? Kevin was a member of the 82nd Airborne Division and served in Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom. Please join me in welcoming Kevin to Gehanna's Veterans Day Ceremony. I'm so glad to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me here today in Gehanna uh, to observe and celebrate Veterans Day. It is an honor to be here with so many veterans, and one of my greatest joys I have experienced is getting to know veterans from every branch of service and hearing their amazing stories. They have so much important uh, information to gather from generation to generation. We have come from different backgrounds and we have very, many varied life experiences uh, that we can take to this day and come together to celebrate, reflect, and grow stronger. My name is Kevin Lang. I was born and raised on the east side of Columbus and I attended Reynoldsburg High School. Um, in August of 2004, at uh, 18 years of age, fresh out of high school. I enlisted in the United States Army, just up the road here at the Gehanna Military Entrance Processing Station. My time in the Army took me from Georgia to, for training to being stationed in North Carolina with the 82nd Airborne Division, to training cadets in West Point, New York, to war games in the swamps of Louisiana, and finally to a 15-month combat deployment in support of Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. After I left the active duty military, I continued my service in the Army Reserve as a trainer. I was actually stationed right up the road here in Black Lake. I left the military in 2012, but I take with me every day the discipline and leadership I learned from my time in the Army. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Veterans Day was originated as Armistice Day in November 11th of 1919, commemorating the one-year anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance, and November 11th has become a national holiday beginning in 1918, or excuse me, 1938. Gehanna has done a tremendous job supporting its veterans for recognizing the sacrifice so many in the community that gave uh, to allow us the freedoms to to be here today. Remember the toll it took on all the families and the gap they left in the community when they were needed to leave during their time in service. Today I remember the heartache of those who have who've, who've had loved ones that never returned. Today we remember the cost of war on each of, of these lives who paid the price both physically and with wounds unseen. Without their sacrifice, we would not be as strong of the country as we are today. Thank you again. Thank you, Kevin. 
uh, it, it is, as you pointed out, it's very important for the generation to generation, the passing on of the information to make sure that none of this is lost. Uh, again, I think with what the schools are doing too, with their, their um, elementary school programs that they have, I think they're trying to accomplish that too. And I think all of us that are veterans or families of veterans know how important it is to make sure that, that we remember what it takes to keep this, this country free. Uh, at this time, I would like to ask, uh, to ask Pastor T.J. Wolf to lead us in the benediction. Just want to say real quick, thanks for having me today. And as a parent of two young men who both desire to serve our country in the military, thank you for a great example that young men and young women around this nation have to look up to as heroes. We're truly grateful and thankful. Let's pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we ask that your blessing be bestowed on our friends and loved ones. We thank you for this opportunity to share with them this special occasion to honor our veterans. Let us always honor the memory of those brave men and women who have sacrificed so that we may experience freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Wolf. At this time, if you would, please stand, if you're able, for the 21-gun salute by VFW Post 4719 and the American Legion, Post 797, and remain standing for taps, played by Gehanna Lincoln High School students Nathan Squalante and Kristen Ziani. You may be seated. Today, we remember and honor the brave men and women who have served in places such as Gettysburg, Shiloh, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the deserts of Africa, the cane fields of the Philippines, the rice paddies and jungles of Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Panama, Somalia, Haiti, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Together we also remember those who are currently deployed in service to their country and those who, because they paid the ultimate sacrifice, cannot be with us today. History is only one generation from being forgotten. That's why we must share their stories from generation to generation so their sacrifices and extraordinary acts of service will not be lost in time. To our veterans, we say we will remember you and make sure we share your stories from generation to generation, lest we forget. This concludes our Veterans Day ceremony. Thank you for attending today. God bless you, your families, our troops, and God bless USA. Thank you for attending.